Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. We have 11 more days until we can finally get our hands on the game. If you guys have been paying attention, they have been wrapping up content, advertisement, and they've been revealing a lot more details on the game. Starting today, they will be having a debut live stream with Shroud, Dr. Lupo, and Tariq. A Tarek, I'm not sure. Only person I really know is Shroud. I know Shroud from what Apex Legends. This would probably be one of my first issues. It's not a big issue, but with these content creators, they don't play loot shooters from what I see with the content that they post. So I usually scratch my heads when I see um companies go to streamers just because of the large number of followings they have but not pay attention to the actual content that these said creators make in all actuality after they do this live stream and you pay them whatever you pay them are they going to still continue to promote your game or actually play the game for their um on their channels nine times out of ten they will not i usually question that like why don't they get content creators that actually been hyping up the game since it was announced content creators that actually will know love your game tell you what's wrong with it be truthful and have a nice following like sadat the gamer caboose is another that's a huge one they can use i don't understand why they usually go that route because i don't think the money they spend on those said streamers it won't translate as well as it would if you use somebody who's actually interested in the game and that's my opinion because most people who follow those said content creators follow them for those specific games that they play. But anyways, let's talk about the upcoming content. So in this stream, it is said they're going to be showing a lot of the end game content, which you can do, I guess, after you beat the game. That's from my understanding. So that's really cool that we have an opportunity to see what it's going to look like after we beat the game. What kind of activities can we do? I think that's that i think that's really really dope so kudos for them on that they also shared yesterday they are coming out with another episode for suicide squad insider on monday the 24th the episode is called introducing elseworlds if you guys are not familiar with the term elseworlds elseworlds is the publication imprint for american comic book produced by dc comics for stories that took place outside of the dc universe canon so the fact that they're telling us they're going to be introducing us to the Elseworld side of things, meaning we're going to get things outside of canon. If you guys understand how crazy DC stories get outside of canon, we have a lot of content possibilities at that point. And this is actually getting me super excited to see what they actually have to show. I didn't even think this was going to be part of the situation. All we've been shown so far is Brainiac minions and etc, etc. And that will be shown on Monday. Speaking about Elseworlds, is the Harley Quinn show considered canon or is it just her own entity? I'm not sure. But I was asking that because they, they did tease a Joker Tower. Is that a sign that we may be able to play as Joker? I mean, I hope so. Well, later today, I will be streaming around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so we can watch the debut live stream together. Outside of that, please don't forget to like, subscribe. TDN signing out. Yo, yo, yo.